All right, I wanna start off by saying I was really wanting to like this movie. I wanted to do a spoiler-free video, but I, I just don't have enough to talk about. So this is gonna be a spoiler video right away. So there you go, there's your warning. Um, let's start off by saying the, the acting is fine. I don't wanna get into negatives right away. The acting's fine, the visuals are good. I was kinda of hoping that they would do a little more. Look, I watched the first one be right before watching this one and I, I gotta say I like the first one more now I, I, was, I didn't even like it that much when I first watched it and I was pleasantly surprised now I don't know maybe I'm just growing up um, Carnage is cool looking he's the best of the symbiotes we've seen he's the coolest looking symbiote that we've seen my problem is really what the, the message of this movie it's all about relationships the, the, the it's all, it's so weird to me. Like right away, we're seeing that Venom and Eddie are kind of struggling with their relationship because Venom can't be Venom. And they, you literally have them break up and it's literally just to have them have to come back together. I didn't understand why we needed Cletus Cassidy to have a relationship and the, the, the fact that her fucking power is sound. Like, what a coincidence. I, I just don't like things like that. I, she, did, she did nothing for the story to me. Like, I don't like the fact that Cletus has, has sympathy. He's supposed to be a psychopath. That's the whole point. He doesn't need a motive. They kept trying to give him a motive. It was like, he's angry that they took his girl away and she thought he, she was dead. He's, he wants to be friends with Eddie for some reason. I didn't understand how he even knew anything about Eddie or why Eddie, what made Eddie special to him. He, even though I, I get that Eddie was the one that told his story and he, now and then by the end of the movie, you're, he's upset that he didn't tell his whole story. You have the, the his ex-wife. I'll, I'll be honest, I hate her. Every time she was on screen, I was, I just fucking hate her. And I know this dude, this is gonna be negative. This is a negative, and I really don't want it to be. I walked home from the theater, it's right across the street from me. I walked home, go, man, this is gonna be me just rambling about negative shit, but I can't help it, man. Like, this is my opinion, and I, I'm gonna have to see it again. And I'm kind of not looking forward to that, because I, I want a, a, a strong opinion about it, and I guess it's, 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 I hope I don't hate it more. I hope I find more that I can like about it because I really was looking forward to this. I didn't have the highest expectation, but I it's carnage, man. Like he's supposed to be the coolest, most badass fucking killer in the the Marvel universe. And, and before you go, well, it's not in the, well, it is now because if you see the movie and you see the end credits, he's in the universe. So there you go. But, but carnage is now not in it. So that's kind of a bummer, honestly. Um, I just don't really get why his ex-wife is in this at all. She does nothing for the fucking movie. She complains, like she brings Eddie on a date just to say that she's getting married and then she's like surprised that he's not super happy for her. And I'm like, why are you even talking to him anymore? Why, like, what is this? What is going on? Like, why? Like, you, you seem annoyed by Eddie. You don't even like Eddie. Nobody likes Eddie in this fucking movie. And I don't understand why. Like, he saved the world at one point, and he's a loser. Like, he, he all he wants, he even says it, all I want is to be relaxed. And it seems like he just can't get that. I don't know why this movie feels that he's got a shitty ass apartment. He's got, like, Nobody likes it. The cops don't like him, and I don't really get why. Like, it, he's just, he, I don't really understand what they were trying to say in this movie. And even by the end, Cletus is saying, like, all I wanted was your friendship, and you're just like me, because you killed your mom at birth, and where the fuck did that come from? Why does a, a psychopath know that about Eddie? None of us knew that about it. Maybe I missed that in the first movie, but I don't remember that being a fucking plot point. Uh, I, dude, like my mind is fucking wild with the th that where this movie, it was all about relationships. This whole movie is about relationships, only I don't give a fuck about any of the relationships. I hated Cletus's girlfriend. I don't, the, the whole point about Cletus Cassidy, 
is the fact that he's a psychopath. As soon as they showed him at the beginning with a woman that he gives a shit about, I just, I was confused. I'm like, why is this the thing? Why, like, I just want to see Cletus being killing people and not giving a fuck. He doesn't need a motive. The, the ironic part is I literally just watched Scream last night and you know the two killers at the end go the scariest killers are the ones without a motive right and that should be cletus cassidy he doesn't need a motive you don't need him to try and be friends with eddie you don't need him to have a girlfriend to go out and killing people and then the, again the fact that her fucking power is sound and that carnage himself doesn't even like her he should have just fucking killed her they should have done something where cletus has to kill her and fully become carnage to survive to fully be one with carnage and the fact that i was surprised that carnage was separate from eddie the whole point of carnage and cletus or sorry carnage and cletus the whole point is that they are one they don't say we are carnage they say i am carnage i've read enough of the fucking comics and seen the the tv show honestly this was the most light-hearted cletus cassidy i've seen and even from the cartoons like so that really says something i the boyfriend the girl i can't even remember dan dan i don't fucking know he didn't need to be in at all and venom even says it we didn't need him you're goddamn right you didn't need him did not need to be in this movie at all they try and do something with the cop i don't know why the cop is there towards the end we're having the the cletus's girlfriend and i'm not i don't fucking care what her name is she's chasing him and the whole time i'm going why am i watching this i don't want to see this I, there's a there's carnage and venom down in the church fighting i don't want to see this girl chasing a cop it's a waste of my fucking time and again Dude, I apologize. Like, I, I know this is all fucking negative. The jokes are fine, but nothing is like gut wrenching. Like, there's nothing that made me really crack up. If anything, I just I was so distracted by the weirdness that uh, the character change really of Cletus Cassidy kind of having a heart and giving a shit about anything. Like, I don't understand that. I didn't understand. Now, when he becomes Carnage, fucking awesome. The parts with Carnage are awesome. Carnage looks great. They did a good job of showing the brutality of him in a PG-13 movie. You can say it should be rated R. Yeah, probably. It's Carnage. It's, it probably should be rated R or, or something, have an unrated version, but you, you can't just have blood splats and stuff and make that better. It would really have to be. He's ripping people apart and shit, you know, like full fucking Logan style on shit. I... I don't really understand what they were trying to tell about this movie the you know i'll say the 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 jokes of you know eddie talking to venom and people looking at eddie weird because they don't understand why he's talking to himself it kind of got repetitive it, it was funny a little bit but you, you know again i just watched the first one R literally it ended right before i walked across the street and watched this one so maybe to me, it's like, okay, this, more of this over and over and over. I don't know, man. Like, I really, really wanted to watch this movie or like this movie. And it, it was one of those movies where no matter what, I, I, I had to watch it, right? Like, it, it's, it's a fucking carnage movie. And honestly, there wasn't that big visual that I was kind of hoping for. There wasn't that... You know, in the first one, you had Riot and Venom, and they did that shot where they're all, it's kind of slow motion, and you have the, the tentacles and the symbiotes, fucking symbiotes, symbiotes, what, however the fuck you want to say it. They're all wrapped around each other, and, and Riot, and it, it's all, it looks fucking epic. There wasn't really a shot like that, which I was a little disappointed. I, I just, I don't really understand. It just seemed like the whole movie was to say Eddie and Venom are stronger than ever and their relationship is good. Only I never left the first one thinking their relationship was shitty. So it was kind of like they just told you they're not happy just so they can say they're happy at the end. And they and the movie kind of contradicts itself. They, they kind of, you know, when Venom leaves, they make the, the note that 
Eddie is the only one he can be with. And they show that with, you know, Venom leaving him and taking on other hosts and the people keep dying because he's not compatible with them. He, he can't just be in anybody. Eddie is the only one that he can survive on. But then at the end of the movie, they make the note, they go, look, look, they're not compatible. The, the, them two aren't compatible. Because Cletus gives a shit about his wife more than anything. And, and Carnage hates his wife. So right there, it's showing like they're not strong together. Well, then wouldn't Cletus just die then? Wouldn't, if they're not compatible, wouldn't he just fucking die? So like, do we even have to do anything? Just let them free. Like, he's gonna die then, right? I, I don't fucking get it. I really just don't, I don't know. I, I feel like they didn't have a real solid story to tell. They just felt like they needed to bring Carnage in and whoever was doing this didn't really understand who Carnage is and who Cletus Cassidy is. He just is, I, I mean, I, and, and when he does become, once he leaves the jail, like every part that was Cletus, I, I just wondered like, why are we seeing him as Cletus? Become Carnage. Like, let there be Carnage. I don't, like, don't kill one fucking person without it being Carnage. I don't get that. And again, when it's Carnage, it's cool, man. Like, he, the visuals are awesome. He looks badass. I, I just didn't, and the, the notes and everything that he was giving to Eddie, and like, he's giving them these, these weird hints on things, and it really didn't lead anywhere. It, you know, he's going to the orphanage and everything to find some shit out and to, to find out where he's going. I, it, was, it didn't really do anything for me. I didn't really care anything i was thinking okay there's going to be some kind of a twist here there's going to be there's some underlined message that i'm not seeing and then even at the end when cletus looks at him and goes you weren't listening you didn't get what i wanted i'm like okay okay here it is here it is here's what i'm missing and it's gonna all wrap up it's all gonna be worth it here he goes i just want to be your friend what like I, 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 or I wanted your French. I don't get like, okay. So he has another motive. I don't know, man. Like, and you can say, well, he's crazy. Well, show that through him just randomly killing people. That's the whole point is Cletus and Carnage are supposed to be so, almost so compatible. You should have shown that they're so compatible that it almost, you know, is, is a better match than Venom and Eddie. But I, I kind of wish, I was kind of thinking, you know, it, you could have taken out Cletus's girlfriend and make it to where Eddie and Cletus were friends in an orphanage together and that they did come from the same kind of background. And that's why he has this connection with Eddie, not that Eddie just told his story and and then it's he told his story wrong you only told one side of my story man i i don't know it just it was a lot of just kind of randomness honestly i, I didn't i i was hoping to like this more um I, I already feel like i'm talking too much about it and i'm sorry to be so negative there's just I'm not going to talk about how the visuals look good and how the humor was good because honestly it was kind of mediocre it, you know i get it venom is kind of a smart ass and says shit behind eddie's you know voice and i don't know man like i really wanted to like this but i don't think i can i'm not gonna buy it this isn't one i wouldn't recommend buying it on blu-ray or anything if anything, wait for it, you know? Like, fucking wait for it. If you're watching this because you just don't give a shit, just wait for it, rent it. The humor, it, humor's subjective, so you might you might laugh more than I did. Some of it was chuckle-worthy, but nothing was, like, made me crack up or anything. Man, I, I don't even know if I have anything else. Um, the cop, I didn't, why, why waste any fucking time on the cop? And then when they, do a flashback of the cop when he realizes that, you know, they realize that it's Eddie's wife that they're going back to and they do a flashback. Why did you do the fucking flashback? Like you haven't shown enough to make it clear that this is the guy that was at the beginning. 
I just don't understand. The whole movie is about relationships, and it just seems like every relationship is just really off. I don't know. I guess this just wasn't for me. If you liked the movie, right on, man. I'm very happy you liked it. M more power to you, really. I wish I liked it, and I'm. I just didn't. Woody Harrelson did awesome as playing what he was given, but honestly, I feel like he wasn't released enough. And even Carnage doesn't seem to really even want to be there. Um, ah, man. Tired of uh, being disappointed this year on movies I'm really looking forward to. But hey, again, if you, if you liked it, let me know. Tell me things that you liked about it because I would really, I, I would like some positive feedback, you know, but if you didn't, then, you know, I guess we're in the same boat. All right, well, um, and yeah, have have fun. Hopefully, you know, the next shit will be, I'll say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how Venom enters the now Marvel Universe or Sony-verse that they're doing, however they, they change Spider-Man, but I, uh, at the same time, I'm like, well, you've made Venom into a hero, so I don't know why he would have any interest in hurting Spider-Man. Maybe Venom is aware that Spider-Man is the cause of the multiverse, and now Eddie's life is even shittier. I don't know how it can get shittier, but maybe it's even shittier, and that's why he's gonna go after him and he hates him now. Because it is a known thing that Spider-Man is usually responsible for Eddie's life being shitty, but if his life is already shitty, I don't know. Okay, well, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit a button that makes you feel good, and as always, thank you.